G'day. My name is Dan Hart. More importantly, I am one of four of the Q community whom you will see being baptised on this day. To start, I'd like to say that I've been a child of God since I could remember. Between several churches of different types, Baptist, Assembly of God, Uniting and Hillsongs, I've been inspired and enlightened by the overall diverse nature and culture of all of these till about 19 years of age. And I could say with as much wholeheartedness that I, they have certainly shaped my general understanding and respect of the Christian community. Unfortunately, I hit a few literal snags in my journey which almost lost me completely. I had a best friend. Her name was Alicia, whom till then I'd known since grade three. And I've got to say with honesty, she was already a powerful and positive influence on me and her peers as an amazing Christian woman. Devastatingly, at the age of 19, she died in a car crash. Worse still, we only spoke the night before then, and on the day, I knew the exact moment it happened, because all I could feel working that morning was a significant part of my heart had been ripped from me. Unfortunately, around that time, uh, there were two other contributing factors. The first seemed petty in comparison, but the church I was attending was falling apart, and the youth group attached to it wasn't too fond of my Christian view of thinking. I left the church. The second was my drinking habits. And turning at 18, I wanted to improve my skills and knowledge in the world of mixology. To be honest, there are some events between then and 25 years of age. I just have to admit, I'm not proud. But thankfully, in some weird way, I never had it worse than some of the people I knew back then. In saying that, there has been one particular friendship I made in those days who I'm still grateful for his obscure view on life. Getting back on track, because I do have a time limit, uh, beginning to early 2019, I've spent countless days telling myself I am carrying my own cross. Also, some of those days wondering, will I ever find my own church and Christian family? Enter Perry. A small number of people may know her and her amazing understanding of the big man upstairs. And when I met her at one of our previous employees, I didn't know slash expect that I would be figuratively thrown in the deep end of the pool, making new friendships, entering new opportunities, example, working for data and audio, and being added into two small groups. The first run by uh, the amazing and loving Michelle, then onwards to one with people I began to commune with better, including Ashray, Ellie, Ebony, Miriam, and Charlotte. I am grateful for their input and conversations. I am grateful for this church, and I'm truly grateful for the future that hasn't yet shown, it, shown me what's to come. But I'll be heavily harder to run headfirst into any situation that comes my way. Finishing off, Psalm 121 says, I cry to the mountains, for where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heavens and earth. He will not let my foot slip. He will watch over me when I sleep. He is my shade at my right hand, protect me from day and night. The Lord will protect me from all harm and he will watch over my whole life. He is watching over my life and everyone's life for both now and forevermore. My name is Daniel Hart. The Daniel Half means God is my judge. And I know he's guiding me and showing me the way regardless when I'm not paying attention. The second heart is half. It may not be the organ that literally keeps me alive every day, but I hope to one day give that heart to someone and build a Christian family with them. Not only with them, but with God as our cornerstone. Our life will forever be built on solid ground. Thank you for listening and God bless. Okay, so, they're up here somewhere. Bishop Dan, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he came in the flesh, that he gave his life in love for you by dying on a cross? Absolutely. That, that God raised him from the dead, 
and that he is the Lord of heaven and earth. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Dan, in the light of what Jesus has done for you, will you commit to offer your life as a living sacrifice of worship, surrendering to God, and serving him and following Jesus all the days of your life? I do. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Dan, on the basis of your faith, your confession of faith in Jesus, um, I baptize you in the name of God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and God the Holy Spirit. Take a breath. 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 Father, I want to pray for Dan in the name of Jesus, and I ask you to fill him with your Holy Spirit, Father, in the name of Christ, that you would bless him. He believes in you. He's your child. Yes. He's been bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, fill him with your Spirit, and this week, Lord God Almighty, speak to him. Encourage his heart and release the power of your spirit upon him in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the gift promised for those who believe in Jesus. Thank you that Dan's sins are washed away, that he's a new creation, that he's been born again by spirit and water. Fill him with your grace and mercy, Father, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen.